because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Pat McCormack himself. Pat, uh, I do want to talk about this fight, but I want to go back to your last fight. I mean, your, your first two fights, you had two first round stoppages. Your last fight, when I was watching it on TV, I mean, your opponent, he didn't seem to want to, he didn't come to win. He seemed like he was happy just to stay on that back foot, run away and get to the sixth round and go home. Was that fight disappointing for you and frustrating for you? Yeah, it was uh, disappointing for the crowd, but it was easy money for me, to be honest. Um, I got six good rounds in. Before that, I'd only done two half rounds as a professional, so it was good to do um, six rounds under the lights. And uh, yeah, I think it's put us in good stead going forward. Well, I mean, like I said to Ben there, your, your coach Ben, that you're in your first eight rounder against Dario Saki, who's uh, got a winning record. Um, he's, he's fought the weight above you, he's two weights above you as well. He's he took Troy Williamson ten rounds, even though Troy did get him out of there in the tenth round. So he did get he, he did give Troy rounds. Um, he comes to fight. Um, perfect opponent for you in your only your fourth fight. Yeah, perfect opponent. Um, it's going to show the level that I'm at because um, I'm going to give this kid a boxing lesson. Um, he's a tough kid. Um, he's comes to win, so it's going to work in my favour, and uh, I'm going to get to be able to show off to everybody how good I am. But you've got an, obviously an, an outstanding amateur background, obviously the Olympic medal all that behind you, 27 years old now, I believe 20, yeah, yeah, 27 yeah. years old. Um, obviously, your first, your first eight round and only your fourth professional fight, they're pushing you quite fast. They're, yeah. they're trying to get you the eight rounders in and the ten rounders in and whatnot. So um, you, how, how fast do you want to be progressed? Is it hard for, for Ben and everybody to rein you in? Are you ready to just crack on and get these nah, <laughs> fight nah. the top names? Are you happy to just sit back and then nah, learn your trade? I'm just uh, listening to my team. Obviously, they're guiding my career. I've just got to do the fighting. And, uh, yeah, obviously, we're going to have to go for titles not sooner or later, so why not? Obviously, need to get the uh, rounds in, the experience against good opponents, work on what we've been working on in the gym, put it into play under the lights because it's a whole different ball game and uh, yeah, I think I'm moving at a perfect pace. This is a, a good fight I'm fighting next. Um, I've never boxed anyone without a winning record, so it's just it's another day in the uh, office. The weight division, I always call it the money division. Like uh, Beside the heavyweight division, obviously, we all know the heavyweights make all the money, but uh, the weight division for me has is, is, is been the money division. We've had some of the biggest names in, in that division. Just look at Manny Pacquiao's and Floyd Mayweather's and whatnot. So um, it's, a, it's not only the money division, but it's stacked as well. It's probably one of the deepest divisions in terms of talent. So for you to get to that world title or get to that elite level, it's, it's no easy route for yourself. Listen, it's not easy at any weight. If, you, if you're boxing for world titles, no matter what weight you are, it's not easy. You're going to fight some animals. You're not getting paid millions to fight a nobody. You're going to be fighting an animal, a train fighter, so that just comes with the job. If you want to make the big money, you've, that's what you've got to do. And uh, I'm just stepping up the ladder slowly, but I'm coming. You say slowly, but I think you're quite moving at a, quite a, a nice little pace, man. It's only your fourth fight in the eight round. I mean, if you blitz this guy out here in two rounds, if all, all going well on Saturday, then, I mean, the step up's going to be even bigger yeah. than what you're going to experience against uh, Dario Sachs, okay? Yeah, perfect. Mm. That'll do. Um, I've, had, I've had about 150 amateur fights. I've had six uh, WSB fights, unbeaten in, that, unbeaten in that. So I'm ready. The time's right. I'm ready to go. So what, what, Pat, if you were to see 12 months from now, we're back in Newcastle 12 months from now, where would you like to see yourself? Headling in that utility arena yourself, maybe with an interim world title around your waist? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd, like to see, I'd like to be thinking I'll, this time next year I'll have some sort of belt around my waist. Maybe it's even the end of the year. Um, hopefully it goes well on Saturday and we'll keep pushing on and uh, putting on good performances for the uh, people coming out. Right, obviously... I, 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 Conor Ben's in your, in your division, it would be remiss of me not to talk about Conor Ben. What, what's your thoughts on the whole sort of failed drug tests and the, 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 the ban and the, the 270 page dossier, the eggs, all that? I don't know, I'm wrapping up, I'm, I'm trying to paraphrase it all in here into one qu sort of question, but what's your thoughts on it all? To be honest, that's just his business. It's got nothing to do with me. Um, I think he's a good fighter and he's probably going to make a fortune in his next fight, so what does it really matter? Mm -hmm. You mentioned his next fight. It looks like his next fight's against Manny Pacquiao. I mean, I was at Pacquiao Ugas, I think it was November 
2021 out in Vegas. And that was Pacquiao said he was retired. But uh, whoever thought this would happen, Conor Ben against Manny Pacquiao, if it happens, um, your thoughts on that? Unbelievable fight. Um, big money fight, both made for life. So fair play to both of them for getting there. Kel Brooks obviously chucking in his name in the hat, it looks like, with the back and forth on Twitter to fight Conor Ben. If you had your preference and who would you like to see Conor Ben fight between Pacquiao and Kel Brook, who would you like to see? Not really not bothered. Really bothered. No. Not really bothered, I'm worrying about myself, not no one else. Very mature answer, but definitely. But, I mean, you're fighting in the North East, this is your home in the North East. I spoke to everybody in the North East in terms of talent, Mark Dickinson, yourself, Callum French, uh, Cyrus Pattinson. Don't forget about my brother Luke McCormack Luke, as well. Yeah, Luke, Luke. Well, probably Luke's Luke over there. Diamond in the dirt, he just hasn't been found yet. Yeah, well. And uh, he's been in the gym since... Uh, all the years since. Can we expect a fight uh, announcement soon with Luke? Yeah, hopefully he's just waiting to get um, waiting to get a few things sorted out. But um, he's been in the gym non-stop, week in, week out. He's done all three of my training camps with me, and uh, he's been knocking people out in the gym. So when the time's right, he's gonna come out like a butt out of hell. Well, that's what I mean. The talent up here right now is 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 phenomenal in terms of the young kids. The four, five, six, and O's right now. Lewis Dretzen flew that that northeast flag for so long by himself. Yeah, he opened the doors for all of us, um, f selling out the Metro Arena utility now. But it was, so would be the Metro to us. Um, yeah, and he's brought brung, um, a lot of fans from Newcastle towards the boxing. And this is a boxing city now. Everyone loves it, and it's just got a few stars now to um, fly the flag. Well, final one then. That utility arena is going to be rocking, like you said. The fans come out in droves and they bring an atmosphere with it. So, what can they expect from Pat McCormack? Yeah, they can expect me giving someone a boxing lesson. There we go, Pat. Listen, go enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you at press conference, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Pat. Thank you. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up at it. It must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 